Hi there, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about parameterization of data sources in Power BI. This is going to be a short and simple video and without any delay, let's get started. So before getting started, let's first understand why do we need to parameterize the data sources. In real world, you create the reports in development environment. And once you finish the development of that report, you move it to QA for testing and once the QA is done you move the report to UAT and then to production. So if you manually create the parameters you have to open the report um, manually go to the data sources and change the connections. So instead of all that if you can create the parameters it will be very easy for you without touching anything else. It, it will be very easy for you to just change the server name and switch the um, environment from dev to QA, QA to UAT, UAT, UAT to production. So this process will be very easy for you. Even in the interviews, it will be um, very beneficial for you if you tell the interviewer that you used these parameters to switch between the environment that will that will help you getting the job as well and now let's see how to create that in power bi so to create the parameters for the data sources the first thing you need to uh, make sure is you have that uh, ability to include the to create the parameters right to to do that you first go to file and options and settings and here in the options, you go to Power Query Editor and you see this section here, Parameters, you turn this on. You uh, you need to turn on this checkbox, okay? Always allow parameterization in data sources and transformation. You need to check this. You need to check this option, okay? Let's say, okay. And now, what you do is you go to uh, Get Data here. Uh, you can choose whatever source you want. Here, uh, here I'm selecting SQL Server as my data source and instead of that, if you don't have the parameters, you give the server name and database name here, okay? But here, because I want to try with the parameters, I create, I select, I click on this uh, arrow mark here and I create new parameter. And you name the new parameter here, We're giving it a server name. And the server name and my database server name is this. This is my server name. I give it in the value section here. I say OK. And the same for database. I create a new parameter. You name the parameter here. Data, database, database name. And my database name is bikes I say okay now okay so now I created the uh, server name and database name parameters now it's time for me to select the tables okay so the tape so here you'll be selecting one of the table um, I'm selecting I'm selecting the first one um, production brands here um, just say load and that's all you just need to apply these changes so once you say apply changes you'll have you'll have uh, the table created here you can see you'll see you can see it here in this section and now let's say we created this in our dev environment now i want to switch the environment what do i do now we need to go to this query say edit query okay and here on top you see manage parameters okay when you click on manage parameters here before that let's see what the data is click on this and see the advanced editor so here if you see it is using the parameter names that we created server name and database name these are the two parameters which we created so uh, Power BI is using these parameters here instead of the direct values. Okay, so now for changing this, you just have to uh, click on manage parameters and do the edit parameters here. And 
here the server name you gave uh, this is the server name and this is the database you gave and um, because right now in my machine i just have one server but i created another database just just to show you how this parameterization works but, but in real world what you do is you change this server name but the database name will be the same because when you switch the environments only the server name changes everything else would be the same so you click on ok it is this simple to create parameters for your data sources i hope you like this video if you find this helpful please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe see you in the next video thank you